Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, FAA to update before you fly app. DJI improves geofencing to enhance protections of airports across the Asian Pacific. And RAS Pet Flight Research Laboratory acquires Tiger Shark XP3 UAS. Welcome to Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. Our top story of the day, the FAA has partnered with Kitty Hawk to redevelop Before You Fly, a new and improved mobile application to help drone operators learn where they can and cannot fly. The project is being done at no cost to the FAA. The Before You Fly app will continue to be available to the public until the new app is deployed. The data will continue to be updated, but no new features will be added. The acting FAA Administrator Dan Elwell was quoted as saying, We want to provide drone pilots with the best tools possible so they fly safely and responsibly. The agreement made by the FAA and Kitty Hawk back on February the 13th will provide the public with a mobile application that provides recreational drone pilots with situational awareness. The app is scheduled to launch this year. In the next Unmanned Minute, we'll take a look at a few stories that are making rounds in the unmanned vehicle community. The U.S. Air Force's new Block 50 ground control station for the first time controlled an MQ-9 Reaper from the Gray Butte Flight Operations Facility. The Block 50 is designed with improved capabilities through an optimized human-machine interface that enhances aircrew situational awareness and allows for single-seat operations. The Boeing Air Power Teaming System, Boeing's newest unmanned platform, is designed for global defense customers. The aircraft will complement and extend airborne missions through smart teaming with existing military aircraft. XN Technology has announced the commercial availability of an advanced autonomous aerial robot. According to the company, it's the most advanced and fully autonomous aerial system for data collection and GPS denied environments. Aero News Network is pleased to bring you the second part of drone expert KC Sealock DJI Mavic Pro Drone Review. For a more in-depth look at the functionality behind this drone platform, please check out our YouTube channel. And that was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. DJI is improving its geofencing technology with the launch of Geospatial Environment Online 2.0 system in two dozen countries and territories in the Asian Pacific region. The new system created a detailed three-dimensional bow tie safety zone surrounding runway flight paths. The new system reflects the safety risks posed in those areas and is more flexible in lower risk areas. DJI's Geo 2.0 system has been implemented in the United States last year and more recently across Europe. Mississippi State University's Raspit Flight Research Laboratory acquired two of the latest Tiger Shark XP-3 aircraft. This will substantially increase Raspit's UAS core flight research capabilities as the Tiger Shark can fly at higher altitudes for longer periods of time. The UAS can direct crews to repair damaged and critical infrastructure, as well as triple Raspit's capacity to carry such devices as sophisticated sensors, which can be used to examine agricultural crop health. It can also carry multiple pieces of equipment at the same time, significantly increasing the effectiveness of each flight. That wraps up this week's Airborne Unmanned. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for an episode of Airborne Unlimited. And if you would like real-time 24-7 coverage on the latest aviation and aerospace news, check out our website at aero-news.net. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.